Good evening and welcome to Annual Taxonomy Daily News Channel Syndicated Television Network Daily. What is animal taxonomy, you may ask? According to the dictionary, it is the science or technique of animal classification. Well, we classify animals by their kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, and genus and species. We call this the classification system. Now, we will talk about the panda. Pandas are known for their great climbing skills and ability to grasp objects, such as bumble. Let us take a look at some of the other characteristics of a panda. The panda's kingdom is Amalia because it is an animal. Its phylum is Chordata. Chordates have a motor cord and had a tail for at least part of their life. Other animals in Chordata include humans and fish. Its class is Mammalia. Mammals give live birth and are covered in fur or hair. Its order is carnivora, such as the lion, wolf, and other meat-eating animals. Its family is Ursidae, or bears. Its genus is Eleuropoda, and its species is Melanoleuca. Normally we just call it the panda, but it's scientifically called Eleuropoda melanoleuca. The scientific name of a species is made by combining two terms. The first name is the genus of the organism. The second is its species. The first letter in the genus is always capitalized and the species is never capitalized. The scientific name of a species is always underlined or italicized when written. We classify animals just like I did with the panda. You find the characteristics it would fit under until you reach the species. But who first invented the classification system? The Greek philosopher Aristotle came up with the first classification system. He classified them by reproduction, whether they lived on land, water, or in the air and if the organism had blood or not. Later on, a Swedish botanist named Carlos Linnaeus made a formula to create a scientific name of a species. Linnaeus also made a classification system. He used five rakes, class, order, genus, species, and variety. We currently use a modified version of Linnaeus's classification system. Let's say you were bird watching, <clears throat> and you spot a bird you have never seen before. You could use a taxonomy taxon. You could use a taxonomy key to help you find what that bird is. What is a taxonomy key, you may ask? A taxonomy key is a key used to help us identify unknown species. You start at number one and then follow the instructions until you end up with that the scientific name of the organism is. Animal taxonomy is very important because it gives us a way to classify, name, describe, and identify animals. Thank you for watching. Animal Taxonomy Day News Channel Syndicated Television Network Delivered.